Hello, thank you for joining me today for my Dollar Tree pegboard haul and tutorial. So these are all the things that I got from the Dollar Tree for the pegboard system. These are some metal loop hooks. And then these are the large square pegboards. And then you'll want these. They're the sticky things that go on the back that'll hook it to the wall if you don't want to use screws. And then these are the trays. I really like these. They hold quite a bit of stuff. And then some plastic hooks. And the smaller square um, pegboards. I got a couple of those for the bathroom and then the rectangle ones. And then the cups. These are my absolute favorite. The cups hold so much stuff and are very practical. I really like those. So here is my sewing room before, scary. Mm. <laughs> I don't know how I found anything to sew. It's pretty, yeah, pretty scary. <laughs> Okay, so now we're getting into the install. So it was actually super easy. I decided that I was just gonna use the sticky tabs to put it on my wall. And these things are super strong, so don't worry about it like not sticking or like it falling off eventually because it's not going to. I think it's going to be the opposite problem. I think they're going to stay on forever. And if you want to take them off, I really don't know what it's gonna do to my wall, but I figured this is my sewing room and it's gonna stay my sewing room. And so it's just gonna stay here. I'm not worried about taking it down or whatever, but I would suggest getting a level because it's really hard to like eyeball it to make sure it's straight. I did a decent job, but I think it's going up slightly on the right hand side. And once you stick it on the wall, you're not really gonna get it back off to like fix it. So I was kind of, I was trying to do my best, but it is a little wonky because some of the pieces don't fit together perfectly. So you can kind of tell there's a hole over on the right hand side where it doesn't like slip together. So here I'm using the metal loop holders and putting all my scissors in, which is super convenient. So that way I can see where they are and hopefully put them back where they're supposed to go so that I can find them again. really like these cups. I was able to fit my rotary cutters, um, all of my markers, and other little knickknacks in there. So on the long rectangle shelf, I put different colors of my sewing thread just to make it a little fancier and pretty. And then in these trays, I was able to put all of my sewing machine feet and my clips to hold fabric together. And then this one is the square shelf and I put a pretty sign from the Dollar Tree. And then that dress form that I just put on there, I got those from Amazon and they were super cute. I really liked them. They were very inexpensive and I thought it really worked with my sewing room. So now I'm just going to do the other side the same way. I like things very symmetrical so I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So in this tray, I put all of my sewing machine needles and then my little needle um, pin cushion thing <laughs> and then another sign. So here I'm printing out 
a picture that I made up. I found the clip art of the sewing machine and then I wrote that and she sewed happily ever after. And I'm just putting it in one of the Dollar Tree frames and then I put that up on display in my sewing room. So it was super easy, only cost a dollar and some ink. And here's the reveal, ta -da! So pretty, I mean just vacuuming the floor alone just like really helped it look really nice. It was like my carpet before was like a brownish multicolor color and now it's like white. And it's like, wow, I forgot that it was white. And there's my picture and I put some flowers and then the other little dress form and a candle. And I got that stand on Amazon. And then I got this sign here at the top on Amazon. So pretty much everything is dollar store and, or the Dollar Tree and Amazon. And I think it turned out really good. I'm super happy with it. Yeah, there's the before and after it makes a huge difference and it is really great storage and just making it look a lot cooler and professional so then I also did stuff for my vanity in my bathroom so this is the setup I did for this I'm just going to let you watch it and not talk through it so <laughs> I'll see you at the end this was helpful for you and gave you some ideas of how you could use the pegboard from the Dollar Tree for organization in your bathroom, in your sewing or craft room, and I'm just really, really, really happy with these. It's great quality, strong, and it seems like it's going to stay there forever. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye!